welcome back to my channel and uh, today we're going to talk some more about traveling because it is something that we have been fortunate enough to do a lot of in recent months we do go back to Denmark quite a lot because that's where my family lives then we went to Italy over Christmas for a nice skiing holiday um, and then now we're off to Iceland it means that I'm quite used to traveling with a toddler on my own and, um, and as a family. Um, and I think over three years of having um, gone on an airplane with him, I think close to 40 times, something like that, um, I kind of know what's working for us and maybe what's not. One of the things I found in recent months is that Caspian, coming up to three years old, um, has become a lot more independent. And you might see this with your children. It means they want to help you cook breakfast, they want to pick out their own clothes, they want to carry their own stuff, and if they don't have stuff to carry, they want to carry yours. Um, as I often carry a lot of expensive equipment in the form of cameras and computers, I'm not really too keen about my toddlers trying to drag my suitcase or my backpack around um, so he definitely needs his own and we have been sent this by a new brand called Kushi um, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly Kushi um, it's spelled with a K but it's uh, based around this cushion so Kushi 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 I think Kushi must be the right one it is a new brand um, started by a um, do we dare call her mum entrepreneur? Uh, she is a mum and I think the idea came about because she has children of her own. Um, and so Susanna's designed and developed this backpack for kids from the age of three. One big sort of problem that you might have as parents, especially if you're traveling uh, with children, and that is that a lot of children like their soft, coddly animals. They like a good cushion and they often fall asleep uh, in the strangest places. You cannot get them to sleep in their own bed when you want them to at sort of 7.30 at night, but they will happily like sit in the most awkward position on an airplane or a bus um, and have a long nap there. And it's always when you don't want them to. It's when you know that, you know, the plane's about to la land or, you know, the bus, you know, like you're only a couple of stops away, that's when they fall asleep. Um, so what they've tried to do with this is give the kids a cushion um, and a teddy that they can kind of take away with them and also use around the house um, and form a good bond with um, and then you don't lose them because let me try and demonstrate um, it is hooked on at the front here elastic that sort of hook around these little things so it sits at the front and it kind of means that they've got this soft a cushion that they can sleep on, you know, on an airplane, on a bus, in the car, and um, they can make friends with them. Uh, this is Monty the monkey, um, but there's also a bear and a rabbit and a cat, and I think there's a few more on the way. So whatever favourite animal your little one has, um, they can choose that in a cushion form. So that's there, it sits at the front, um, it even has its own little rain cover uh, in case you're thinking, oh, you know, like, what do I do if we're walking through and it's got the snow or rain, you know, like, I don't want it to get dirty. Well, it's got this thing that you can sort of pull up around it and it sits at the bottom of the bag like that. So there you go. And then we're just going to put Munty to one side. So we'll put Munty over here and then I'll show you the rest of the backpack. And I'll also kind of show you some of the ideas of what I bring when I take Caspian away with me. What I found is a good thing to have. So it's got a pocket over here, which is like a great place to maybe store a little juice or, you know, something that they need quite quickly. Um, it's got another one over here. I've put some band-aids in there because Caspian has a tendency to, to be a bit clumsy. So those are always good to have to hand. And then there are sips um, at the top here. Um, so it easily opens up. Um, so inside, I always wear, uh, bring some spare clothes because you just never know. And also if you're traveling to somewhere like 
Knowing when we go to Denmark, we're kind of going home in a sense. So I know A, that I could go to a shop and buy what I need straight away. But if we're traveling somewhere a bit more exotic, it might not be readily available. Um, so it's always a good thing to kind of have a spare set of clothes in case his suitcase doesn't arrive or in case he decides to pour his juice all over himself um, and jump around in it. Then at least I know I've got something. Uh, sometimes, depending on what else is in here, I keep it in my bag and sometimes I, I put it in his. Then, if it is a longer flight, I tend to bring some comfortable shoes, especially for now because we're going off to somewhere cold, so he's going to be wearing big winter boots. Um, and I've noticed that they're not that nice to sit with um, on a plane, uh, yet I don't want him to walk around in bare feet or his socks when he has to go to the toilet or if he just wants to explore the airplane. So I tend to bring like a little pair of soft shoes that he can um, put on once we are on board. Um, then I do think it's a good thing to teach them that they're carrying their own stuff rather than mummy and daddy you know carrying everything because it also teaches them in the long run that they can't bring everything because it means that the backpack will get to but give them a sense of responsibility I think is a great thing we often bring um, a little lunch pack and uh, just with um, this one is, is fairly heavy because it keeps drink and, and lunchbox together. Um, at the moment there's just some pouches in there. Um, a good thing to have uh, with you in, on the go. I often put a sandwich in there as places at the airport can be quite expensive and sometimes he doesn't want what they have and I just make him a cheese sandwich and at least I know he has something to eat. Uh, maybe like a couple of biscuits or you know a bit of fruit, something like that and he sorts it. And I also bring an empty, I say empty because as you might know, you're not allowed to take um, bigger bottles of liquid through security at the airport. So I bring an empty one, but what I have noticed and what we use a lot is as soon as you're through security, they're often, at least at Heathrow and Copenhagen Airport, are places where you can top up your water bottle. So it's a good thing to have instead of going and spending like three, four pounds on of water um, and overpaying. So a little lunch pack for him. Um, then he, you know, I actually haven't put any toys in this because I generally get him to pick his own. And that way I'm not responsible when he says, oh, I want my this. Because then I can say to him, well, you actually picked, uh, you know, your PJ mask and your Duplos and not your uh, Disney cars or whatever he's into at the moment. So um, at the moment I've just put, there's some stickers in here because they don't take up much space and at least we have them. And then one of these, um, you know, where you can draw on them and then, it saves having to bring too many pens and paper and having him draw and redesign the airplane. Um, a pair of sunglasses, you know, he just likes to wear them so uh, it's a good thing to have. Um, and then again, along with Munty to make him comfortable, I bring a blanket. Um, so he has, this is a PJ mask blanket, um, and um, so he's got a blanket and um, he's got you know his monkey um, and also with the monkey uh, it's very good thing to notice a you can put the name on the back here this little tag um, so and um, maybe phone number and email so if they get very attached to it and it gets lost and um, hopefully it shouldn't because it's attached to the backpack but if it does at least it can be brought back to its owner but also Monty does go in the washing machine which is good if you've had him out and about simply chuck him in the washing machine you know at 30 degrees and he'll come out clean and fluffy again um, this one you can wipe down with a cloth and uh, um, again a name tag inside the bag here where it says you know who it belongs to um, but just to show you I mean there's still plenty of room for toys and other things that your child might want to bring um, so it, it's actually a very good size, this one, um, and uh, those are some of the things that we take with us when we go travelling. Uh, I'd love to hear if your children have something really special that works for them. You can leave it in the comments, um, or if you come up in your years of travelling with something ingenious um, that really works um, and is a great thing to have on board a flight, then do tell the rest of us in the comments below. So that's it. Well, um, Monty and I will uh, wave you goodbye and say thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy these little videos, um, there's a good focus on traveling at the moment, then do hit the subscribe button um, and follow us across social media uh, where we share all our adventures. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.